Welcome back, YouTube viewers, Honda Express fans, other people who found their way here. Jack Rutherford with another exciting, informative video. Unfortunately, this is not a first start video of the MB5. I should have kept the MB5 at my place longer. That is the conclusion that I've come to. The MB5 resides at its owners right now. Although we did try a first start, we got some sputters, but you know, it's going to make us work a little bit harder, but I I've got a plan. Hopefully, <laughs> it'll uh come around soon. Anyways, I wanted to do this video for quite some time. Maybe it's not as exciting as uh, I'm claiming it might be, but this is, uh, you know, what is under the seat of the Honda Express, because I think this would be very valuable because a lot of people get their Honda Express and it's all messed up under the seat you know the the electrical connections my QT50 my original QT50 was that way and I've since had numerous bikes where this is always a disaster so this is a I don't know 77 78 Honda Express so this should be the same for at least through 79 maybe 80 for some reason I, you know I, I should know that but I don't so here is the special battery, tiny battery, that, uh, what, uh, do we have a part number here, 6N2-2A, 6-volt battery for the Express, of course I don't have a hose on it, and it's, it's pretty much dead, uh, I can't seem to, let's see tail light is not coming on so uh, you can replace it with those uh, deer feeder batteries you just got to take out some of the uh, styrofoam inside styrofoam molding inside the uh, seat bucket there seat pan whatever it's called and then uh, we've got a fuse coming off the uh, positive side of the battery hold on a minute I'm going to get a little closer to the action, or try to get a little closer to the action. So uh, there's a fuse in here, or there better be. Yeah, there it is. And then, and this just opens up uh, like so, and there's our fuse. And then from there, um, We've got this special connector, and it should, right, it should slide right out, just so easy, like, like butter, like a hot knife through butter, and uh, did I change something on this? I th or maybe somebody before me changed something. Honda's got this goofy thing where these two wires just, you know, go in a circle. And uh, then, yeah, somebody before me just got rid of the wiring to that. <laughs> so I guess this won't be as informative as I thought because we've already got a change in the... Uh, in the wiring by some, uh, one of my predecessors. So anyways, uh, normally when you buy these batteries, it'll come with several connectors and this is one of them. It must have been used on other bikes as well. So, you know, some people are like, I don't know how to connect the battery because they're missing this connector. And you, I don't think, I could be wrong. Uh, I mean, you can buy electrical connections this you know four prong connector separately I guess but 
uh, it usually just comes with this battery. So, yeah, somebody has, there should be wiring going in here for this little circuit thing, and I don't know if that's, um, I think it's to prevent you from starting it, it without the battery attached, because uh, the battery acts as a regulator uh, to keep your headlight and other lights from blowing out. Uh, let, uh, but anyways, moving right along, here is our rectifier. And uh, we basically got two reds and a white leading to the rectifier. And then uh, finally, we've got our ignition coil and our condenser. That condenser is in, in pretty nasty shape. So the little cylinder here is the condenser and uh, this is the ignition coil and normally the coil goes through the frame uh, and out and connects to the spark plug. Uh, I think I took the coil out for some reason and had trouble getting it back through the frame so I just ran it outside the frame. So, And then uh, We've got a, a green wire going to this end of the coil, and we have a black and white wire going from the coil uh, probably to the, let's see, probably ultimately to the stator connection, this black and white wire. I could be wrong, but that's what I think. And then... Now this has always uh, confused me. We've got this space here, and I think that's for the turn signal relay. However, this bike, 77, 78, 77, this 1977 Honda Express up through 79 did never had turn signals, but were they planning to add turn signals or... I mean, obviously they added them, I think, in 80, but um, why did they, was it, a, you know, leaving it up to the, the buyer to add turn signals? What were they doing? But pretty sure this is the uh, turn signal relay here, or switch, or at least the space for it anyway, so... Um, I don't know. Anyhow, you know your bike has a point system if it has a condenser here. And uh, how is the condenser wired in? It's got one wire which leads to right here um, which the black and white wire is also leading to as well. Probably have to take that apart to uh, determine exactly how that's wired. So there you go. Um, that is the uh, the under seat components of the Honda Express uh, revealed at least 77 through 80 maybe. And then 81 through 83 they switched to a CDI system and uh, you're not going to have a condenser. You're going to have a different ignition coil. I think the rectifier is still the same. And then they may have gone to a slightly bigger battery uh, in later years. And then you don't want to... I don't know if it was the coil or the condenser, but uh, one time I had an Express without this styrofoam molding, and the rec rectifier ended up on the coil, and it actually, uh, the heat melted the plastic housing and killed the rectifier. So, why do they have this molding? Not only to organize what's inside, but also uh, to keep things separate. So, I'm going to do it like that. I can see where my wire has been pinched by the seat in the past, so we'll try to avoid that. And there you have it. So, this video was actually pretty popular.
for the QT50 and I wish and then uh, I wish it was around the other, the, not, the other nice thing is this still has the uh, plastic connector for this wing wing bolt and uh, you know it attaches the seat to the seat pan and so that's that's nice to have not all of them not all expresses have maintained that over the years so uh, it's a nice little you know still has that part so there you go under the seat connection um, or electrical connections and uh, I'll quit blabbering on and hopefully uh, we've got an, an MB5 first start video coming here in the near future we got to get it started man it's killing me I wish I had it at my place still what was I thinking why did I deliver it back to the owner I could be riding it right now shifting through all those gears you know oh man can you imagine it it would be beautiful hey thanks for watching